The election is over, but not much has changed here. The protest movement that obstructed voting in much of the country was back on Bangkok streets, rallying support for a campaign that still wants to chase Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat from office, whatever the election result. They have reduced the number of their blockades in Bangkok, but they won't stop. The Prime Minister had hoped the vote would deliver her another mandate, but she'll have to wait, perhaps many weeks, before all the disruptive polls can be rerun, and there are sure to be legal challenges. Our economy will be the victim of this polarization because I expect that the government, regardless of whether the convening of the parliament is possible or not, regarding of what the government can run or not, I expect that uh, given all this uncertainty and also in, uh, impact on the confidence of the investor, I expect the government for the future will be uh, at best a lame duck government. At one point, a group surrounded the Defence Ministry building, being used by the Prime Minister as a temporary office. For a while, the protesters thought they had her trapped. These days, the Thai security forces, police or army, do so little, they offer no deterrent. Only when they heard Ms Yingluck had left, would they disperse. And so, this long crisis drags on. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok.